I haven't looked into Candyland in a while. I wonder how it's doing. Wait, what? What is this? Connect wallet? Oh god, oh no. Oh, it's another NFT scam. About a year ago, Golden Lane Studio shocked the world with its 3D animated project Candyland. With incredible 3D graphics and an interesting premise, these videos garnered millions and millions of views on YouTube, TikTok, and Twitter. Ever since then though, the studio has gone radio silent. I want to look into everything that Candyland built, how they got there, and where they are now. So as you can see here on Golden Lane Studios' YouTube page, which has 1.9 million subscribers, they started off as kind of a Five Nights at Freddy's fan project uh, studio where they made really, really good 3D animated series. And about a year ago, they started their Candyland series right, right here. Episode 1 has 5.6 million views, then 13 million, 2 million, 2 million. This kind of blew up, and I remember seeing it everywhere on YouTube Shorts and on TikTok. But as you can see, their last post was about a year ago with Candyland early development trailer. And this was the trailer that they showed that wasn't just an animated series, it was a trailer for a video game. Now this game trailer admittedly looks very good. I mean, the animation is top tier. The story seemed pretty cool. I remember everyone already making like game theory videos about this thing and wondering what was gonna happen to these characters. But after this trailer, I hadn't heard anything about Candyland besides that there were some hints that it was an NFT project. And that might be enough to tell us exactly what's going on here. Although Candyland does actually have a Steam page, it says plan release date to be announced and you can add it to your wish list. But there's no listed release date, no information about the game or the developers, besides images and links to their social media and 3D animations. So it seems Candyland started as a really high fidelity 3D animation project in the vein of Five Nights at Freddy's with all these cool looking horror animatronics in a theme park setting, and then it took a turn and became an NFT project. And now it's just another NFT scam that way less people seem to care about. And unfortunately, in my opinion, I think this game is probably never going to come out. It sucks when something looks so amazing and there's so much like love and thought behind it and the fans are clamoring to get a taste of this game and it turns into an NFT project. And this has happened before. This has happened many times before. Probably the most famous one being Logan Paul's game CryptoZoo that just ended up being an NFT scam and it went out of business like less than a year after it launched. It's just NFTs never work out. And the funding behind them and the value of NFTs have done nothing but plummeted the past couple of years. So unfortunately, I can't really see Candyland becoming a successful NFT game unless they separate the NFT project from the video game. But it seems like everything here is just intertwined. They'd keep advertising Candyland.io, which is their crypto wallet website. There's no information about if the game is even still in development. None of their social medias mention it. They haven't put another trailer out. They haven't advertised it anywhere. So I just, I'm, I'm skeptical. I'm, I'm hopeful, but I'm doubtful that this game will ever exist. And if it is still in development and there are some like amazingly talented developers and artists working on this game, then good on them. They're doing amazing work with the 3D animation either way. And I really, really do hope it comes out because I would love to theory craft and everything like I would with Five Nights at Freddy's with this game. I'm just, I have so much skepticism because of the NFTs, it's hard for me to look past it. Now, I did find that there's another YouTube channel, apart from Golden Lane Studios, just called Candyland. This YouTube channel has 1.32 million subscribers. It says that it has 93 videos, but there's only three of them listed. Two of them I've already seen on the Golden Lane Studios channel, and then there's one from seven months ago called She's All Alone, A Susie Snack Time Story which is just a minute long 3D animation. Another interesting thing is when I look at the community tab for this YouTube channel, it says the official Candyland season one trailer is coming December 28th, and the newest post thanking for 1 million subscribers, saying that they're excited to share the upcoming Candyland series. Now this doesn't really sound like a video game as it was advertised, just an animated series like it was originally designed to be. And it seems the more I look into this, just the weirder it gets. If I go onto Golden Lane Studios Twitter, all that they do is retweet tweets from the Candyland Twitter. And all that that is are weird short animations like this that I, I, I don't I don't even know what this is supposed to be. I really don't. It just kind of looks like TikTok YouTube shorts bait that has no bearing on whether there's going to be a game, an animated series, or anything. And all that I've really learned here is that a lot of people really like Suzy Snack Time. And looking at their TikTok where this all started to blow up, it seems like that's just the case. It's just a bunch of like weird Susie snack time thirst traps. I mean, look at look at this. Look at this. This is 
come on. But you can also see that their views, for the most part, besides the thirst traps, are only getting like 50, 60k views opposed to what they used to get. If we scroll down, we can see 5 million, we can see 3 million, we can see 1.2 million, 4 million, 9.6 million. Like, their views used to be way, way, way higher than they are now. And it seems like when the news about the NFT project launched, everyone kind of jumped ship. Which brings us to this. If you go to Candyland.io, which is the website all the YouTube channels and Twitters are promoting, it's literally just an NFT project. You connect your wallet here, and you can buy different skins for all the characters, and it, that's it's all it's all it is. It's just turned into an NFT project now. And I'm not even really sure if the video game is still in development, still being considered. Which brings me to the point that NFT projects, no matter what they are, no matter who they're from, no matter how cool they look, are always just a scam. It is unfortunate though, because the man behind Golden Lane Studios is very talented, and all of these Unreal Engine 5 renders for this potential maybe video game that doesn't really exist look really good. And I remember when I first saw this trailer, I was excited to play the game. It sucks that NFTs have once again taken something amazing and turned it into complete and utter garbage. I've had a lot of people in the comments of my videos ask why NFTs are so bad, and let me just explain it very briefly, and I'm not going to go into all the details, but let me just let me just say it real quick. Basically, with a Candyland NFT, you would be able to buy a picture of a character or a 3D model of a character that's either the base character or them with like a certain skin on and a certain outfit that no one else owns. You purchase it with cryptocurrency, and it has a set value. The more people that buy these, the more they'll be worth. So if you buy it for five bucks, let's say, and a ton of people buy other ones, that five dollars might turn into fifty dollars or a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars. But if no one buys them and the company ceases to exist, that five dollars is now worth zero dollars. If a lot of people buy them and the value goes up, the company makes money. And if they don't, the company loses money. And basically it's a scam. They want you to buy a bunch of these things so their value goes up and they make a bunch of money. But there's no value. There's no actual tangible value to these things. You're just buying a skin for a non-existent game or for a non-existent 3D project that's going to go out of business in a year, and you're just you're just throwing your money at something that has no value. Meanwhile, they're trying to milk as much money from their fan base as possible. And in my opinion, NFT scams are even scummier when they target children with bright, colorful animal characters. So, it seems Candyland is just another one of those scams. There's no game that I can see, it doesn't even have a projected release date, it has nothing to it. The 3D project has gone from getting millions of views to about 40,000 views. It seems to have completely died off, which is sad because it looks good. They look great. The 3D animator here is top tier. And the game, the trailer looked great too. But again, in the trailer there was no gameplay. It was basically just a 3D animation, which is what they do. And it's, it's really sad. As someone who's been keeping up with this, I was excited for Candyland, but let me know what you think down in the comments. How do you feel about NFTs in general? How do you feel about Candyland and this whole mascot horror genre that we've been seeing a lot of recently? But that's it for me today. I'll see you all in the next one.